широчайший кругозор, колоссальный опыт и пристальное внимание ко всему новому – вот те качества, которые присущи Дугласу Шелдону. Что же привлекает этого искушенного знатока и высочайшего профессионала в «Звездах белых ночей»? The Stars of White Nights Festival, I think, was founded in 2003, and that makes it a very young festival in the international world of festivals. Uh, and so it competes with some very famous festivals, whether it's Salzburg or Edinburgh or Lucerne or many, many, many. And what's interesting about the Stars of White Nights Festival is that in such a short period of time, it's become acknowledged as one of the major festivals of the world. And uh, I think the reason is the leadership and the vision of Valery Gergiev, uh, who increasingly has expanded the length of the festival, the variety of what is presented at the festival, There are many operas, many ballets, many symphonic evenings, uh, solo recitals, and I think it's fair to say that today it's probably the largest of all the international festivals, and it probably has the, the most performances and the greatest variety of performances. And now, the Marinsky Ballet, in any case, was always famous as the world's greatest ballet. The Marinsky Opera Company now, which has toured around the world many times, is setting a standard for a very high standard for Russian opera. The orchestra, in only 20 years exposure of international concertizing, is recognized as one of the handful of the very best orchestras in the world. You bring all this together in the summer festival uh, in a city that's as beautiful and unique as St. Petersburg, uh, with the unique quotient of White Nights. And I think you probably have the most exciting festival there is. It's, uh, it's certainly larger. It offers more variety. Uh, it has an incredible city in which it presents itself. It has a classic theater. It has now the perhaps one of the two or three best modern concert halls in the world. And in two years, it'll have a new opera house. And so the dynamic curve of this festival is continually up. And I think artistically, it's of the highest standard uh, and is celebrated around the world. А каким вам видится в этом свете будущее фестиваля? I think the future is incredible. I mean, First of all, the artistic standard is always high and it's always rising. And uh, secondly, in two years there's a new opera house. Then they will renovate the, the old Marinsky Theater so that the backstage in particular is to 21st century standards. Then you're going to have an incredible concert hall, a brand new opera house and a classic opera theater renovated to the 21st century standards. Now, if then New Holland develops with, possible, with the possibility of an outdoor venue as well, then the festival all of a sudden has four or five venues and they have a ballet company, they have an opera, they have an orchestra, they have, they have more than enough to fill the venues. And with the energy in St. Petersburg, because uh, all of the classic buildings are being renovated or restored. It's more beautiful every year. Business grows here every year. I think the dynamic curve of this is only upward. И мы сможем увидеть вас на следующем фестивале? You can meet me here every year. <laughs>